if you guys had a patient that you're like, oh, we had a really interesting case of blah, 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 and you have the CT or a DICOM and you want to load it, feel free to come in. We can help you put it up on here. Overheard a teeny bit of what Dr. Gosling was talking about, but we can cut into this. We can do like a sagittal view and just go over some of the levels of the vasculature. Okay, so if we're looking at this, what level do you remember the aorta goes through the diaphragm typically? I eat 10 eggs. I eat 10. 10. 10 to 10. 10 eggs. Ah, 12. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there we go. So IVC and fear VK of a T8. 10 eggs was esophagus goes through T10. Aorta goes through about 12. So if we're looking at here, what's a great landmark to help count levels? Oh, no. So if you're looking at a sagittal cut in particular, what would you use as a reference point? for levels. Spinous process, can you tell which one's which right off the bat? So this is usually what I'll go to. Lumbosacral angle. So that's a great idea that that's L5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this one's probably T12, which is pretty dang close to right where we would expect it. Inferior extent of the liver. You can see what's this branch right here. So the celiac trunk's usually the superior border of L1. You know, so it's not always the case. Somewhere in the middle or the lower extent is probably going to be, what's this one? So superior mesenteric. And then we come down to about L3, and that's usually where inferior mesenteric starts to come off. So, so if we're looking at this from the front and we pull this down, you can sort of see, actually it will probably be better if we cut the clipping plane this way and then increase the density. So now we can actually see pretty good, what's this vessel here versus that one? Which one? IVC. So what is this? Which one? So left renal vein, and then this would come down. So aorta versus the IVC, which one's usually higher with the bifurcation? So aorta is usually about L4, right? And then typically IVC bifurcates, or these come together about L5. Something else, uh, you can see the portal vein coming up on this side. So if you have a scan, it's going to be basically based on the quality of your scan, how well we can see whatever we put on here. So this looks like, what's that? Spleen. Does it look normal size to you? Yes, or, really yeah. Okay, so that's a very enlarged spleen. <laughs> liver size. Um, but yeah, so the liver is also enlarged if we come back out. And you can see this is a big liver, but that spleen is gigantic. Wait, so somehow this puts color onto... So it's based on the tissue density. So we can actually change the settings of this. We could look at it as a three-dimensional x-ray if we Whoa. wanted to. What? But this was a CT? That so was... this was a CT scan of an actual patient that came in. Um, you can also change it if we wanted to look at the soft tissue structure. So this is good for like wow. airways. Um, sometimes there's contrast that you can see in the abdominal cavity with the GI tract, but it's... It kind of depends. Uh, the other thing you can do with this is look at the actual slice data. So with three fingers, you can slide up and down through any of these scans. So this would allow us to go back pretty quickly and review. 